last video we have compared the various cases of the particular integral of a second order differential equation as you can see all of this highlighted uh, component now we are going to derive these formulas that we saw in that table so it's the particular integral that we are talking about which is basically the equilibrium condition of the time path and it is inter intertemporal in sense because it is uh, over time and considers various points in time and uh, containing no arbitrary constants is one of the things that can make it a definite solution now this yp is actually the equilibrium as we have already learned in the uh, first order differential equations and yc is also there which is the deviation from the equilibrium and both of them combined give us the time path now as you s uh, know that there are multiple cases in the second order differential equation of the particular integral and they are based upon the values of a1 a2 and b so let's start with the sub case one and in that uh, we know that the particular integral can be any solution that is the equilibrium value any value of y that satisfies the non-homogeneous equation so in homogeneous equation you remember that the yp was equal to zero in the homogeneous case here we are considering the non-homogeneous case and in this the uh, value of yp is actually showing that there is a certain value uh, among all the values of y which is satisfying the uh, hom non-homogeneous equation so that particular value will be called as the e particular solution or the equilibrium as the name guides us so we should try the simplest possible type in the beginning if we are looking for that particular value we should start with the simplest possible assumption that value either can be a constant or a variable so the very first thing that is the simplest thing is actually a constant so we start with the assumption that this particular solution is actually a constant so y is equal to a that is some sort of constant a constant can be considered um, with the help of a symbol that is k so let us assume that the particular solution is k now uh, y equal to the answer of it is equal to k is the very first thing the original function we can take its first derivative and second derivative because we are talking about a second order differential equation in which we need the first derivative as well as the second order derivative since we have the value of original function the first order derivative and the second order derivative we are in a position to substitute these values in the standard form of the differential equation and this is the standard form of the differential equation where we are putting the value of the second order derivative first order derivative and the original function both of these derivatives were zero and the original function was equal to considered equal to uh, constant that is k so when we simplify this and find the value of k it is another constant a ratio of two constants that is b and a2 because we already know that b and a2 they are constant values that is constant term as well as constant coefficient so k is definitely proved to be a constant here uh, now this is uh, the particular value that is the k is the particular value of y that satisfies the differential equation and that is why we call it a particular solution so the name is as per the properties of this um, value of k since it is the uh, particular solution so instead of writing k we can write yp which is the symbol for particular solution so finally we have devised the formula for particular solution that is yp and it is equal to b over a2 so you must remember that in the table the very first case was this in which it was equal to b over a2 so this is the interpretation that the particular solution is actually a constant value and that is the ratio of b and a2 now let's talk about the second subcase this subcase in which a2 is considered to be 
0 and if a2 is equal to 0 we cannot use this formula that we developed in subcase 1 because in the denominator it is a2 and it is going to become undefined if we put uh, if we use this formula so we have to use some other formula instead of falling into this situation so we develop this new formula the first assumption that we had was that the solution can be a constant that is the particular solution but the second option is that we can comp uh, complex it a little bit and we can assume that it is not a constant that is it's a variable when it is not a constant it means that y is equal to kt it means that it's not just a constant a variable is also included in it so if this is the assumption that we have made that this is the solution of the um, uh, differential equation um, then its derivative will be equal to this and the second order derivative will be equal to this. So we can put all of these values into this formula uh, in this uh, standard form of the uh, second order differential equation. So y double bar t, y bar t and y t they are uh, there 0, 0 and k t. So after putting these values uh, this was k and this was k t. Another thing that is there in the box is not uh, is uh, actually the value of a2. It is because the assumption and a possibility that a2 can be zero. So in this case, if a is a2 is equal to zero, we have to write zero in its place. So simplifying, we get the value of k as this. And when we have the value of k, we have to come back to this assumption that we made and it said that the solution is equal to a variable uh, situation that is kt so we put uh, the value of k in it here and we get this value so this is the value of y that can be considered as a particular solution on the basis of our assumption and the simplification so this is the second case or second sub case in the non-homogeneous cases. Here you can see that A2 is absent in the denominator and that uh, guarantees that there will be no undefined answer of this. Now the subcase 3 is here and in the subcase 3 you remember that A1 and A2 were considered to be 0. A1 uh, is now in the denominator so we cannot use this formula because A1 is in the denominator. And a2 is equal to 0 has already happened. So we can al also uh, not use the other formula that we developed in which a2 was in the denominator. So this also gets cancelled. That is, it cannot be used. So both of these solutions cannot be used. And even if we try to do so, that is the uh, two cases that we developed. If we use them, we know that in this subcase, that is subcase 3, both a1 and a2 are 0 and if I put 0 in their places the answer will be undefined so subcase 1 and subcase 2 they cannot be applied here they are particular integral formula we have to come up with another formula in the last um, uh, subcase we used a variable um, value as the um, you know the uh, value of y um, as the solution primarily we used a constant in the subcase 1 Again, we have to use the variable uh, uh, assumption, but in this case, instead of using KT, we uh, can complicate it a little bit or make it different from the last one by making T square. So we can experiment with KT square instead of KT. So if we do so, uh, the assumed solution will be this. This is the assumed solution and uh, its first derivative second derivative will be equal to this so we have these values now we can use these values uh, we can you know put them into this formula this value and that value and this value this is a1 and this is a2 they are also put in boxes because they are assumed to be zero this is the value of y double bar t this is the value of y bar t and this is the value of y so now we simplify it and when we simplify it we get this value that is the value of k. So we can uh, re revert this value back into the assumption that is kt square 
and now we have this kt square as the uh, assumed solution now it is uh, getting converted into the particular solution because it is satisfying the given situation so the value of k is b over 2 that we have substituted and now this y can be considered as yp that is the particular solution that shows the equilibrium so this formula is also devised and here the formula will not fail because neither a1 nor a2 are present in this formula in the denominator so this will not fail so in this way we have developed the three formulas the three sub cases of the particular solution of the second order differential equation considering that there is non homogeneous case because in homogeneous case all the sub cases of the particular integral will be equal to zero thank you